Hello and welcome to Savannah and Alalea TV where you connect to yourself as a high functioning human. You are your own teacher and I'm simply here to remind you to pay attention to your intuition and create a life that you absolutely love. Although for most people making New Year's resolutions comes with all the best of intentions, they can often fall by the wayside. So why is that? Today I want to talk to you about ways to give yourself more of a chance to achieve your aims in life, whatever they may be. In my recent blog, The Single Most Important Organ in Your Body, I spoke about the idea of life force, essence or chi, and how by being open throughout your fascia and all your other systems, this energy can move freely, allowing you to connect to your intuition. In order to progress towards your goals, you need a good store of that chi energy. You might feel like an energizer bunny who can go forever, but you are only amazingly human and just as capable of burnout as everybody else. I believe you generate the most chi when your systems are in harmony with each other. You can make progress towards this balance through a combination of fascia release, detox and mental fitness practices. When you find this balance, it's like being in the center of a storm. It's really, really quiet and very still. There is no feeling of lacking or anything that needs to change because everything is moving perfectly around you. There's a stillness that comes when you arrive in that place. And when you're in that place, you just know which way to go. Even when your chi is fully charged, when you first have the spark of an idea, when you find yourself there, it's really important to spend the time with the idea before you start sharing it out into the world. When you show your dream to the world, you're basically throwing a newborn idea out on its own. Newborn ideas are very similar to new newborn humans. They need a little bit of nurturing before they can fend for themselves. So ask yourself, would you put a baby on a tightrope? Think about it. Have you ever had a grand plan and immediately announced it to all of your friends? I'll get fit by summer or I'm gonna write a novel. You can feel a rush just sharing these dreams in the initial stages. But sometimes that takes the wind out of your sails when it comes to making them happen actually in real life. A tricky thing about the human brain is that it is a guzzler for the feel-good chemical dopamine. And the same thing rarely gives a good hit the second time around. So yes, you get dopamine when you achieve something, but you also, and this bit you might be unaware of, you also release tiny amounts of dopamine as soon as you tell somebody about your intentions. This reduces the amount of dopamine left to actually be able to get there, making you less likely to continue after you've started sharing it with people. And yes, dopamine is something that you have to build up. So that means once you run low, you need to slowly work to bring it back up. Another thing to watch out for is that sharing your dreams before they are firmly on the path to being achieved inevitably allows others' opinions to affect the shape of them. So in other words, by sharing your aims, you're actually diffusing the manifestation process or draining the energy store around it. And it ends up being harder sometimes to gather it all back up and regain any kind of momentum. The key is to avoid becoming fixated on the end point over the actual journey itself. Remember those famous words from Lao Tzu, every journey begins with a single step. Start with small changes like speaking to yourself in the here and now about your dreams. Say things like, I'm consciously eating nourishing foods and moving my body in a way that gives me joy or I'm listening to my creative thoughts and I take pleasure in writing them down. What I'm saying is take your baby and its dreams off the tightrope and let them learn to walk before you start trying to have them run. Once you start on that journey and reframe your mental fitness to say, I can do this, everything else will fall into place. Your self-belief will grow and things can snowball in a very good way. Welcome to achieving those resolutions. You're gonna be sat there thinking, wow, that actually worked. 
Your life, your dreams are there for you, waiting. The important question is, do you know what they are? Do you understand which dreams serve your highest function and how to keep yourself, what I call emotionally trim, in order to fuel them? Keep an eye out for my upcoming blog, Daydream with Intent, Live with Purpose. Remember, trust your instincts, follow your intuition, because the world needs your voice and the magic it brings to us all. Jump on my mailing list to stay reminded and connected with your intuition and some of those special things that I only will pop out in my emails. I look forward to chatting with you next time on Savannah Alalia TV. Take care and talk soon. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Why is that my song? (laughs) (laughs) It's like cowboy. (laughs) It comes with all the benefits and best intentions. There's no benefits at all. (laughs) There's literally no benefits. I need to make sure I'm reading the words. And before you're in the process of achieving them, is inevitably, sorry. (gasps) It must be true. That's all I'm going to say.